We have uh, over 6 million registered users right now and of the daily average trading volume exceeding 1 billion US dollars. Wow. Yeah, that's actually not, not bad. We've been doing quite good. Yeah. And over the years, um, we were actually uh, Asia's first exchange to list um, those large cap uh, like famous tokens such as Ethereum and EOS and Quantum. So at the peak time, the Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trader Cobb Show. Probably brought to you by Zipmex. Com. You can go and check it out. And today's guest, I have got Aurora Wong, who is the VP of ZB Group, of course, of which the exchange ZB.com, I believe it is as well. Is. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the, the invite. <laughs> no yeah, nice meeting you. You too. And look, what an exchange, mm -hmm. okay? What a massive platform. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the group itself and what part the exchange plays in that? Definitely. Yeah, actually, ZB Group was founded in 2012, actually one of the earliest, yeah. and has grown into the industries, one of the industry's large players, yeah. you know, throughout the close to seven years already. And uh, the group's flagship digital asset exchange is actually ZB.com, which was started to operate since June 30th, 2013. Wow. So we just celebrated our six year Birthday. Oh, congratulations. Happy June. Thank you. Well, there's not many in the space that have got a six year birthday. Right, right, right. Because in crypto space, it's kind of a long time already. That's like six decades. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit like that. You don't look a day over 40. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are over 40. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, throughout the six, four years, we've been. Uh, operating very safely and grow steadily and we have uh, over 6 million registered users right now and of the daily average trading volume exceeding 1 billion US dollars. Wow. Yeah, that's actually not, not bad. We've been doing quite good. Yeah. And over the years, um, we were actually uh, Asia's first exchange to list um, those large cap uh, like famous tokens such as Ethereum yep. and EOS and Quantum. So at the peak time, actually the uh, EO, uh, the ETH global trading volume, like over 50% of the global trading volume were happening on our exchange. Wow. Back that time, the domain was chbtc.com. Wow, so it's all changed. Yeah, so we changed in uh, 2017 because you know, two digits, Domain are really yeah, expensive. They are. They're, so you had to build the business before you could get the double digits. So I hear what you're talking about there. Yeah. And so how, how many assets have you got on the platform now? How many you know tokens can we trade now? Yeah, it's actually a very good question. That's one of the uh, uh, factors that differentiate ourselves yeah. from our competitors. Also, uh, although we operated for six full years, we only listed a little bit over eighty. Uh, projects. Okay, so well. it's actually 87, I think, the today's data. Uh, we are relatively, you know, more conservative than our competitors because we uh, balance a strict our strict listing rules yeah. with a certain degree of uh, risk of toler uh, risk tolerance, so that we can still make the room to list um, those most, you know, cre uh, like innovative tokens yeah, yeah. first. But we don't list that many though. Yeah. We are really curated and selective. And, and what is the selection process then? Like, how do you choose what project gets listed and what doesn't? Uh, we actually, we have uh, two uh, major listing channels. Yep. One is through our app program, which is um, essentially an upgraded launchpad version, which is ac actually a similar uh, IEO model. Yep. So we select uh, the strongest and proven projects and support them not only by listing them but also you know to promote them through yeah. like marketing efforts by offering users with like discounted tokens ah. like buying opportunity and the other channel is through the voting mechanism yep. so basically uh, we rely on community's choice you know we listed the the, the projects they voted for so ah, I so think there's a strong community 
yeah. a strong community giving you access to what you think they would like to own because they've asked for it. Yeah, exactly. So that's what we think, you know, it's kind of both the channels yeah. could uh, create a project selection process by the platform and the community so that we can create a satisfactory outcome with yeah. a three-party multi-win. Yeah. And, and look, where are most of your clients? I mean, it's it's a huge exchange. I see, I've seen it creeping up and creeping up on CMC, obviously the event that we're at, uh, up on there on the volume side of things. So where are your users mostly? Uh, since we started from Asia, I mean, started from China, yeah. uh, exactly. And uh, we've been, you know, stepping into uh, ex expand our global presence since 2018. So we have a pretty good global presence now, but still, our flagship, uh, ZB.com, yep. we still have a large portion of uh, Asian users, especially like Chinese users. But uh, the uh, the proportion is changing, while well you know we keep expanding globally. And so, what, what differentiates you? Obviously, there are some differentiating points. We've already spoke to, of course, the uh, community, uh, I suppose, guidance as to what you list. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you've been around for a long time, so that's a differentiating factor as well. Yeah. What else does ZB do uh, as an exchange that, that helps to differentiate it from other exchanges that are out there at the moment? Uh, that's a terrific question as well. So, um, I mean, besides you know the security, safety, and the, you know highly curated yeah. factors. Uh, of course, we are, we are continuing uh, to build and improve our products. So just this week, we have our newly uh, released like a a APPs coming out. Yeah. It's uh, really like brand new full release with a lot of uh, unique features in it, such as uh, social and community building enhancement, uh -huh. which includes the ability to gift to other users of the platform, the cryptocurrencies, yep. uh, with what we we call in China like red envelopes. Okay. So basically, those are the digital envelopes where you can fill fill them with the your favorite cryptocurrencies. So you can give the cryptocurrencies. So you, you, can, you can get somebody into the space, like to so say, look, I'll send you a bit of this, and then they become interested, and then they come in. Yeah. What a brilliant yeah. marketing scheme as well. I mean, let's be honest, that's absolutely perfect. Well done. Thank you. And I think this will bring like more fun, you know, yeah. to our users. And yeah. more users in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should do that as well, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hopefully, I suppose. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Well, what the, do, you, do you actually have any margin trading going on at the moment? Yes, we Can you do. tell us a bit about your margin trading, what sort of leverage you offer and what you offer, the, what products you offer margin on? Yeah, we do have like uh, margin trading options and we have uh, like a, a kind of, you can choose the degree of uh, the le le leverage. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the maximum is like 20, okay. 20 times of uh, yeah, the, the margin trading now. And that'll be on sort of like your Ethereum, your Bitcoin, XRP, yeah. that sort of thing. Or major uh, cryptocurrencies. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yeah. Um, as far as it goes, when it comes to your user base, Six million is a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. it's, I know it's not the biggest, but it's, it, that's very, very large. It's a lot of users. I would be, I mean, I'm gonna ask the question rather than saying, assume, but are there periods, a long period of time when they're inactive? You know, obviously you might have a small group that are always traders, they might be the traders, and then a large group that just buy and sort of sit back and do nothing. Um, we, the, the portion of uh, active users yeah. is pretty high, okay. actually, because periodically we launch different high quality projects. Yep. So um, since, for example, when we listed Ethereum, we really made a, like almost a, like a large percent, a large portion of our users uh, get wealthy actually, because the Ethereum price went from um, like, you know, I, in terms of renminbi, yeah. that went from 70 to 2000 during the period. We yeah, during that big boom, yeah. So we kind of helped a lot of users to get rich. Well, and periodically, good. we still have certain these type of projects coming out, so they keep active. But of course, you know, depending on the general trend of the market as yeah. well. For example, the the end of 2018, you know, when the market was cooling down, of course, you know, the 
the active users are relatively, you know, like the portion smaller. <laughs> and I think that's probably because of the lack of education and the ability to actually mm -hmm. go short. Mm -hmm. uh, as I'm a trader, um, mm -hmm. you know, we did very, very well throughout that period of time, quite simply because one reason, we can go short. Yeah. So there's a huge uh, gap between users that are currently in the space right now that hodl, right? Yeah. And, and those that know how to trade. And I find that to be a really big area that exchanges might be missing out on. What sort of education do you have in place to try and help people to understand maybe trading strategies, that sort of thing? Do you have anything in place? Oh yes, we do have like um, like training uh, videos for yep. like newbies in yep. the in the in the area, and also one of our subsidiary exchanges is called uh, BW.com or BW.io. Their domain is Bitward. It's the world's first mining pool based exchange. And just yesterday, they launched another uh, like margin trading functions and a derivatives functions okay. as well. So we will also make other like um, trading courses and uh, you know for the for the users as well. And also we have a, a industry think tank yes. in the group. It's called ZB Nexus. So we not only kind of promote the blockchain technology education to you know like normal people. Yeah. But also, you know, we provide like, you know, kind of 101 on uh, cryptocurrencies, you know, blockchain and uh, trading, like short videos to our users as well. So it's kind of, you know, uh, extra benefit to all of us. And what languages do you cover on these videos? Oh. I mean, it must be pretty diverse, right? Right, uh, but right now we are, yeah, we're doing that in Chinese only, yeah. but definitely I think uh, with our global expansion, we need to diversify the languages as well. Well, I'm sure that we can help you with that possibly down the track. Okay, cool, <laughs> yeah. It'd We've be got really, a lot of stuff. You know, um, yeah. So look, what, what's the game? I mean, uh, mm -hmm. with, with the exchange itself and with the ZB, or ZB group, I keep saying Z, apparently Australians are the only ones that say Z, right? Mm -hmm. ZB group, what's the, um, what's the goal for the exchange? Obviously, you want to innovate, you want to bring more people into the space, you want to make it easy for them, you want to educate them, but what's the bigger picture? Where do you see yourself in five years from now with the business itself? Uh, I think, you know, for the past six years, we grew from a kind of a, a original grown crypto company into a more, you know, mainstream and professional one. Yeah. And we do see the next two years is kind of the story of crypto's full integration into yeah. the digital economy, global digital economy. So what we want to play is not only to help contribute to uh, like increase the mass adoption of blockchain technology as well as crypto currency like digital currency yep. into the whole uh, digital economy picture but also position ourselves you know still as one of the mainstream and leading players in this space you know not only from a private sector perspective but also help the okay uh, for example uh, China's national strategy yep. to promote blockchain's uh, application into yes. traditional industries. Yeah. That's been a big step in the right direction at China. We've looked at that uh, with a lot of um, a lot of enthusiasm really because it, it's, it's kind of started the global race. If China says they're going to do something, the rest of the world goes, we better catch up because you mm -hmm. have been growing as a nation very, very quickly. Uh, so that was a really good step. And as soon as that news came out, Bitcoin price did spike as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly. It had, did have a very huge it's like huge effect on massive. the massive yeah on the on the market although you know blockchain technology is different from bitcoin, bitcoin. but still you know we can see the market sentiment is you know kind it of gets very excited when china says yeah. yes now yeah. well, what's it like in china when it comes to crypto assets and, and trading Cause i know for a period it was quasi banned right so mm -hmm. how was it for you operating i mean you got a lot of Chinese clients. Are you operating out of China or are you in Hong Kong? Or whereabouts are you guys based for the exchange at the moment? Yeah, uh, it's actually the entity is registered in Switzerland ah. and we do have our uh, headquarters in Hong Kong, but we do have like global operations centers as well. So, uh, I mean, we definitely, you know, kind of the, when the Chinese government ban it, it's kind of the ICO model yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, you know, kind of retail, especially retail investors got hurt right. from, yes, yeah, some, you know, air projects, but we don't, you know, we don't, definitely, we don't touch that, like, we don't, we have our own principles, and we try our best to select 
high quality projects to offer to our users. So yeah, and we really hope to you know keep doing so. Yeah. And is there anything that we've missed that you would like to tell us about? Any little things that are coming out for the project, for the exchange? Um, I think because uh, we, we had a really successful up program, kind of the upgraded launch pad yep. uh, throughout the past three months and our first up project was an Australia leading restaurant payment project called Live and Pay and their token is LVN It had a great success on our platform. We are keeping bringing in uh, kind of projects with solid business model yep. such as this kind of uh, project yeah. Live and Pay and we will be launching our fourth uh, up project really soon and uh, it's already actually uh, yet yeah, defined the project the candidate but I do look forward to sharing more uh, about this soon. Well I look forward to hearing more. Yeah. Where can we find more information about yourself and the project? Uh, I think yeah you could go to uh, zb.com or zb.plus the website uh, that's the uh, domain you can access our flagship platform, but you can also Google me on uh, Aurora Wong. It's A U R O R A, and then my, my last name is W O N G. And you could probably find more press release about uh, myself and also about our group. Yeah. Well, Aurora, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Aurora Wong, VP of the. ZB Group. Yes, ZB <laughs> Group. Nice time. pronunciation. Thank you Thank so you much, Brad. And guys, have a fantastic day. Speak to you again soon. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain.